Greece. Its beauty and charm sadly overshadowed by one of the world's worst stray dog populations. Conservative estimates put the homeless dog numbers at over a half million and growing. In Europe alone, Greece ranks a woeful 25th in households looking after at least one dog. The rest fend for themselves. I think that there is greater need to save the Greek dogs because there's so many. Anastasia Summers, founder of Stray Paws from Greece Toronto Dog Rescue Canada. The numbers here are so low compared to the hundreds of thousands of strays in Greece and they are suffering. Uh, they get abused on daily basis. Uh, uh, they, we need to help these dogs. Athena runs the sanctuary in Greece and is the only full-time volunteer with Stray Paws. The process of choosing a dog it kind of depends on, on the dogs we find and the state they're in. We try to choose those that are mostly in need, maybe sick or hit by a car or poisoned. We try to deal with those that are in an emergency situation more than those that are better off. It's February and Alex has a flight booked for Canada in a week. Unfortunately, this baseball-sized infection needs to be dealt with first. If Alex isn't in perfect medical condition by flight time, his adopting family will have to wait for the next available flight in May. Alex will need surgery. It's grocery day for the sanctuary. I have to buy food on average twice a month. I usually buy about 10 sacks of 20 kilos of kibble. Well, feeding time actually is, it looks like a dance because you interact with the dogs, they expect some movements from you, you expect them to move in a certain place. You go here, they move there. Uh, you leave the plate, uh, the other one has finished, goes directly to the door to be let outside. That's pretty much how it works. People will do anything to save a dog. Uh, they're risking their own lives many times to do that. So they will go on the street and feed stray dogs. Yoda and her sister Helena are a huge part of the Stray Paws from Greece team on the ground. Every day they make the rounds seeing to it that as many homeless dogs as possible receive food, water and even vaccinations.
With a life expectancy of only two years for a street dog, they do what they can to keep them alive until a spot opens up in the sanctuary. Dog shelters here in Canada are like homes. They have heating and air conditioning and they have people that care and they're clean and they're indoors. If you see a shelter in Greece, uh, it's, it, it, it's outside. It's with chicken wire at best. Dogs fight, uh, dogs get hurt, dogs are sick. Uh, there is no uh, roof over it when it rains, they're in the mud. When it snows, they sleep on the snow in most cases. Uh, here is paradise compared to Greece. It's a big problem, there is no end to it. It won't be an end to it for a very long time. There are no laws, and, and when there is a law, people don't respect it. And where there is a law, the authorities do not reinforce the laws. Alex is out of surgery. And the good news is, it went perfectly. Unfortunately for Alex's forever family in Canada, they'll have to wait until May when Alex is fit to travel. For now, he will require quarantine at the sanctuary and time to heal. But the future is looking bright for little Alex. We cannot do it without donations. Um, we cannot continue uh, this uh, cause without donations. It's very expensive for the dogs to come here, but Stray Paws works differently than other rescues. We rescue our own dogs from the streets. We actually, we look after our dogs while they're on the streets, long time before we have space to bring them in. So then we bring them in, we rehabilitate them, we get vaccinate them, microchip them, get them um, uh, healthy if, if there is a virus or something, or they run out over by a car, then we have surgeries. We prepare our dogs from the street and we pay for everything from the street all the way to somebody's home in Canada. So we need help in order to continue doing that. There is no other way. Meanwhile, back in Canada, little Noah and his mom and dad stay updated with videos of Alex sent by the Stray Paws team. Noah knows exactly what he'll be doing with Alex when he lands in a few weeks. I'm going to be walking and playing ball with him. I'm playing fetch with him. Only a few more sleeps. Um, feeding him. All stray paws from Greece Toronto doesn't just fit in all this. It is all this. From the financing to the preparing to the fostering and finally to the homing. It's the beginning and, well, actually, the most important, the end. Stray paws from Greece is everything. We wouldn't be able to save any dogs, and even if we did, we would be obligated to put them back on the streets again, where they will be killed in one day, two days, month. That would make saving them just moot. For Alex, it's finally time for the end. The happy end. The homing. Good boy. Good boy. Good After a two-hour drive to the airport, Alex is ready for processing. His escort, Vangelis, will also be accompanying Maro, Shami, and Freddie on their trip to Canada. For flights that aren't direct, the dogs leave from Athens with a brief stopover in Frankfurt, where they're all walked. 
Then it's on to their forever homes in Toronto. Alex and the others are considered special cargo, which means they are off last. Their wait is almost over as Vangelis makes his way through customs with the dogs. Noah and his parents Phil and Tasha began their search for Alex last fall and were approved for adoption in December. It's now May and Alex is almost close enough to touch. The last piece of the puzzle is for Anastasia to arrive with the necessary paperwork allowing for the crates to be opened. Noah has his dog. And Alex finally has his forever home. Four more dogs saved by stray paws from Greece, Toronto Dog Rescue. <laughs> Over 200 of my dogs have come to Canada and they're happily ever after with their families, but I have helped many, many, many more dogs that were not allowed into Canada because of their breed, uh, because we have laws here, uh, so certain breeds are not allowed in the country, uh, and others that are still in our sanctuary waiting to come. So, many dogs. To come to Canada, each dog requires a minimum three-month boarding where they receive exams, medications, and vaccines. Then they are spayed or neutered and microchipped. Finally, an airline ticket for themselves and a human escort, and of course, a passport. It's impossible for these costs to be absorbed by the adoption fee alone. I wish I had saved more, but I'm trying, and I will never stop. Hello.